In the 2016 presidential election, 98% of our votes will be recorded on memory cards and counted by computers. These computers are managed by private companies who do not allow voters to have access to their process or their results. We have outsourced the vote recording process and the vote counting process to a very small handful of very secretive private corporations. As election integrity advocates, as those who would like to ensure that the system is fairly and accurately translating the public will into electoral results, uh, we would love to be able to examine actual voter mark ballots. We would love to be able to be given a memory card or a dozen memory cards and look over the code and see what is actually running on the machines. None of that is available. None of it. Not the voter mark ballots in the op scan boxes, not the memory cards, not any correspondence regarding that. What election integrity advocates have been able to do is prove that rigging can be done. One of the things that we've done in penetration tests is come in and attach a wireless access point behind a copier somewhere and then sit out in the parking lot uh, and access network resources from outdoors. I changed, I think, 13,000 votes with a, a sample uh, database taken from an old election. Um, and in my speed hacking the vote, uh, I changed something like 1.6 million votes um, just to show that it could be done. There's really no limit to the number of votes you can change. Virtually our entire computerized election and vote counting system is untrustworthy and extremely risky and extremely vulnerable to manipulation. It takes a long time to change 10,000 paper ballots by hand. It takes three seconds to change 10,000 votes on a computer. Uh, I think the most appropriate technology is, is what we should be going for instead of the latest and greatest. That's not in dispute. That's the Brennan Center. That's Caltech. That's the Government Accountability Office. We owe it to ourselves and we owe it to each other to become participants and to become advocates for an observable vote counting process.